In this Python tutorial, we will make examples of file and folder browser. You can learn exactly how file and folder browsers work by watching the video until the end. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. First, I will transfer the PY simple GUI library. You can transfer the library using this code. I import the library. I am creating an object list. I will add the text object. I send string, expand and justification values to the text function. I create a variable for the window. I send the title, layout and size values to the window function. I create an infinite while loop with true. I will create two variables named event and values. I synchronize the variables with the read function. Using these variables, I determine the operations to be performed in the application. For example, when the X button is pressed, the win closed function is called. If the event is win closed, I will end the while loop with the break command. Finally, I close the window. I created a window containing a text object. I add an input object to the layout function. I set the expand value to true. So the input object will spread along the x-axis. I added the input and text object to the window. I add the file browse object to the list. I can click the browse button and select a file. The path of the file I selected is shown in the input object. I cannot select more than one file at the same time. Now I will make a different example with file browse. I am creating the code file. I import the library. I am creating an object list. I will add the text object. I send string, expand and justification values to the text function. I create a variable for the window. I send the title, layout and size values to the window function. I create an infinite while loop with true. I will create two variables named event and values. I synchronize the variables with the read function. Using these variables, I determine the operations to be performed in the application. For example, when the X button is pressed, the win closed function is called. If the event is win closed, I will end the while loop with the break command. Finally, I close the window. I created a window containing a text object. I add a list box object to the layout function. I send the empty list, size and expand values to the list box function. I added the list box object to the desktop window. I am creating an input object. 
I send events and expand values to the input function. I added the list box, input and text object. Now I add the files browse object. In the previous example, I used the file browse function. The functions are similar, but work differently. I will show you the differences in a moment. I don't want to see the input object. I set the visible value to false. Input object is not shown. I need to access objects. I create keys for the list box and input. I will access objects using these keys. The key value of the list box object is list. If the event is input, I will update the text of the list box object. I can do this using the update function. I will separate the input value. I am sending the comma value to the split function. Since I use the files browse function, I can select more than one file. The paths of the files I selected are shown in the list box object. In the previous example, I cannot select more than one file. I can only choose one net. This is actually the difference between them. Now let's make an example with the folder browse object. I am creating the code file. I import the library. I am creating an object list. I will add the text object. I send string, expand and justification values to the text function. I create a variable for the window. I send the title, layout and size values to the window function. I create an infinite while loop with true. I will create two variables named event and values. I synchronize the variables with the read function. Using these variables, I determine the operations to be performed in the application. For example, when the X button is pressed, the win closed function is called. If the event is win closed, I will end the while loop with the break command. Finally, I close the window. I created a window containing a text object. I add an input object to the layout list. I send events and expand values to the input function. I added the input object to the window. I add the folder browse object to the list. I click the button and choose a folder. The path of the folder I selected is shown in the input object. In the next video, we will make a very nice GUI application that includes a file browser and a save as button. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Thanks for watching.